This is the e-commerce coffee break, the podcast dedicated to Shopify store owners who want to optimize their business for maximum conversions and revenue. Each week, you're going to get actionable advice and hear from special guests talking about various topics on how to run a profitable business on Shopify. Learn how to survive in the fast-changing e-commerce world with your host, Klaus Lauter, and get e-commerce insights you can't Google. Welcome to the show. Hey, Klaus here. Welcome to another quick tip episode of the e-commerce coffee break. Today, I want to talk about why you should not take your friends or family to test your store. And therefore, we will look into different ways on how you can do it better. So the situation is as follows. From time to time, I talk to clients who said, yeah, I think my website is great and my friends think so as well because they checked it. Now, there's a huge problem there because first of all, your friends like you. I hope so they do so and they're biased and with this biased opinion they first of all will not criticize whatever you have created on your shopify store rather they will compliment you for your good work and obviously with that you won't get a objective feedback of what you're working on secondly they don't have any background in conversion rate optimization so as they are not experts on this field whatever feedback you get won't properly help you to optimize your store for better conversions and usability. So there's a couple of ways that you can go to optimize that. First of all, you need to keep in mind that a first time visitor gives you about five seconds or less to find out what your store is about. So there need to be very good elements on your store to communicate what your store is about. And if they don't understand what your store is about, then probably they will bounce off and just leave your site. So different ways on how to get feedback, good feedback, what you need to optimize on your store. Number one is just take someone who does not know what you're doing, what you're selling, what your business or your store is about and put them in front of a display in front of a notebook and ask them to enter the URL and to visit your website and then just to say what they see and what they think this store is about and what kind of benefits. You should really be open there and not give them too many questions and directions there. Also, you should just stand behind them and just observe what they do. Best way to isn't, is even to have a screen recording software to track their mouse movements and to see where they're moving so that you get a bit of a better data that you can go back to at a later point. So basically, they should just comment on what they think and what they do. And then afterwards, you can go and look into this kind of interview and see what the outcome is. So that would be just somebody taking someone from the street, pulling them in front of a PC. You can do that actually in a coffee shop, for instance, ask someone nicely and say, listen, you want to get some feedback on the website? Can you please have a look here for just five seconds or 10 seconds and let me know what this site is about? So that's the easiest way. Another way is you can go and use professional services for that. There's a couple out there. So there is trymyui.com. There is Playbooks or playbookux.com. And the biggest one is usertesting.com. I will put all these links in the comments so you can go and check out these sites. Now, all of these sites basically doing user experience testing. So you watch videos of real people using your website and then you will see what they think they do. In a nutshell, it's exactly the same. So somebody will sit in front of your website and then basically just say what they think and both of it will be recorded and then you will get access to these recordings. Advantage of these websites, you can go in there and put in your user profile. So basically who's your target group, who's your audience, and then out of the pool of people they work for these platforms, they will put together a group of people and these people then will go through your website and um, give them your feedback. Also here, these are not conversion rate optimization experts, so they are completely unbiased, non-professionals. So in the best case scenario, this is your perfect customer out there trying to figure out what your website is about and where they get stuck. All of this will give you a very good idea is if there, are, if there are any conversion blockers, if there are any usability hurdles or whatsoever in your site, any kind of roadblock that prevents them to find the right product, to get to the checkout and so on and so forth. 
The third way you can go there is obviously find someone on Craigslist or something like that or on Fiverr to do exactly the same. So you have different levels there to either do it in-house or outsource. And then the next level, after having these results, you can hire a conversion rate optimization expert like me, who then goes into your store and looks at your store from a professional background and then checks your store for any kind of technical or psychological roadblocks that prevent people buying from you. So in a nutshell, saying don't let your friends test your website go the better route and take people who do not know your store and then watch the recordings. One last tip here is once you have your website set up and running, you also should implement tools like hotjar.com or luckyorange.com. These are basically recording the user sessions on your website. Obviously, you won't get any comment of the user, but you can have the recordings and see what their mouse movements are doing and then see if there are any kind of what is called rate clicks that people are clicking on elements that are not clickable or that they stop browsing at a certain point on the website. All of this will give you indications if you have issues on your store that prevent people buying from you. So here we have it, quite a few tips on how you can get some good feedback, unbiased feedback of your store. Implement these and then go through the recordings, make your notes and start implementing all the improvements that you can find out of this data. Hope that makes sense. As always, if you have questions or comments, then I'll leave them below the video or below the podcast. I read them all and I see and hear you in the next episode of the e-commerce coffee break. Have a good day. Hey, Klaus here. If you're a Shopify store owner and you're feeling stuck, overwhelmed and not sure what to do next to grow your business, you struggle to convert traffic into sales or turn website visitors into buyers and you want to like have direct access to a mentor who can assist you with your store strategy offer marketing sales and anything else you need then i would like to invite you to apply for my get conversions program where i show you how to remove the guest work out of growing your shopify business and create clarity to optimize your business for maximal growth and profit it's an application only program to apply go to my website klauslauter.com to learn more and finally, please do not forget to subscribe, like and comment. And I would be grateful if you would leave a quick, honest rating and review over at Apple iTunes. It's a huge help and allows me to reach more people with the podcast. Thanks in advance and until next time at the e-commerce coffee break.